Just a quick little video to my favorite students, my internet pals. Thank you so much for watching my channel and I thought I'd give you just a little heads up before you run into exams. I know some of you will probably see again next semester as you do calculus and vectors. Maybe some of you will even be doing grade 11 and then grade 12 math all in one year. However, what I wanted to say is that there are a lot of you who asked me to do questions for you that are in the textbook. And I don't mind doing that. As a matter of fact, it kind of helps me to re remember what I used to teach because it has been five years. What you should do though, and I will make all kinds of links down below for you to look at, is um, go onto your Google search and type in um, grade 11 functions, teachers, solution manual, PDF. And up comes every question with a complete solution. Now this also works for advanced functions and calculus and vectors because and of course, there are some teachers who are teaching math that um, don't know what they're doing. So they need to see how the question is done and that way they can tell you how to do it or learn as they go. So you can do the same thing. You don't have to just look at the back of your textbook and see, did I get it right or wrong? And as I've told you before, in advanced functions, there are so many incorrect solutions that you might want to check out that list that I put in, um, well, I'll make another link for it as well, but another place where you, you can look up all of the mistakes are in the advanced functions textbook, and there are lots of them. Now they did correct some of this with a newer version of the textbook, advanced functions 12. Um, so maybe you got lucky and got a newer, a newer um, edition of the, the textbook. So, um, you do have exams coming up, and I know this is always a stressful time for students. The thing you have to remember, though, is that your final exam is never as hard as your unit tests. At least in my opinion, that's the way it should be, because the teacher is trying to get an idea of your cumulative knowledge, not all the little tiny things that you can get tripped up on, but whether or not you've understood the main concepts of the course. So what my plan would be if I was uh, you, it would be to get out all of your unit tests, which of course you have saved and which of course you have corrected, hopefully with your teacher. If not, you should at least um, find a buddy who did the question right or ask your teacher, what did I do wrong? Um, go over your unit tests and do some of the cumulative reviews from the chapters. And I pretty sure that most of the textbooks halfway through have a big cumulative review that that will give you a good idea of what you understand and don't understand. Also, the Nelson textbooks are really good and at the end of every chapter they do a chapter summary. So those are really good things to look over and make sure that you understand. So don't be afraid of the exams. If you've done your work and you're, you know, you you've done your homework, I, and and again, really important that you check over your unit test to make sure that you've understood the chapter. You should be fine. Now ask your teacher what you will be given at the test because often there are, um, <clears throat> not cheat sheets, but formula sheets, that's what I wanna say. And uh, that's a good thing to know and have at your side while you're studying as well so that you're you're prepared to um, know where to look on that formula sheet. You don't have to spend 10 minutes trying to find something that uh, you know you could have figured out beforehand. So love to all of you. I hope you all have a happy holiday. I know uh, there are many different religions and celebrations that go on over the holiday season. And I wish every one of you a wonderful break. Um, don't get too lazy though. Come back you know, a few days before you go back to school just to refresh what you need to be doing. And you probably still have one more unit test to go. There's always one in January and then there will be exam preparation. So I wish you all the best of luck. I've enjoyed your comments. Um, so many wonderful comments from all of you. 
and I do try to reply to each and every one of them. So bye for now and happy 2024. Bye for now.